my god oh. hi guys welcome back so this video tutorial will be about do-it-yourself t-shirt transformation um, tutorial and um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reconstruct this old raggedy t-shirt and um, I'm gonna turn it into a wonderful cap you can't even see me because my face is like cap cut cap cut up back t-shirt if you know what I mean so um, I'm gonna cut the back and I'm gonna make it more raggedy and more um, stylish I guess instead of wearing a boring plain t-shirt so keep watching so here's the t-shirt that I'm going to cut I bought this t-shirt from forever 21 and it looks nice and you know fancy I guess and it has this stud on but I want it to be more um, punkier I don't know if that's even a word or not but I want it I want it to be more punkier if you know what I mean so I'm gonna cut the back by folding it so like this hold on okay hold on just hold your horses so we have the back of the t-shirt like this I'm gonna grab the back of the neckline t-shirt and the bottom of the t-shirt right here now since you have your t-shirt folded in the back like this make sure they are aligned okay because if not the cut that you're going to make on the back will not be nice it will be look messy so since you have it all lined up in a straight line I'm going to make a diamond shape cut and um, it's hard to explain it by saying diamond cut but I'll show you so um, you can use a book or a ruler to guide your fringes so what I do is I'm gonna put a book right here and I'm gonna line it like this because I'm gonna cut a diamond type of fringe if you know what I mean so from the back of your shirt so near the neckline cut a small straight line then continue you cut it um the the line between the fringes like this it all depends on you it depends on how thick or thin you want it I'm, I'm just cutting whatever size i want maybe less than an inch and just remember people your scissors has to be a fabric scissors not a regular scissors because fabric scissors and regular scissors are really really different fabric scissors cuts fabric nice and beautiful versus regular scissors because the regular scissors scissors are not made for that if you know what I'm gonna grab my book again and there you go so when we open up our t-shirt the back of our t-shirt will look like this this is what I mean by cutting the back into diamonds because as you can see, I cut it like this, like a diamond. You can have your shirt like this or wear it like this, I mean it's up to you. Grab the second fringe, put it on the, put it underneath the first fringe. Grab the third fringe and put it underneath the fringe that you're now holding. So you just continue it all the way down. So grab this fringe and then put it underneath the fringe that you are holding right now. And you just have to repeat it. So grab the fringe, this fringe on the bottom and put it underneath the one that you're just holding. And then you just switch back. Now move all the fringes on the side like so. So when we reach the bottom of the shirt, grab the scissors and cut the loop that we have at the end. And we are going to tie this and this to the side by just making a knot. And there you go. The next step that I'm going to teach you how to do is we're going to do the same step, but we're going to do a twist. Grab the second fringe, put it underneath the first fringe again. And then when it's out, we're going to twist it like so. So let me do it again. Grab the second fringe, put it underneath the first one, and pull it out, and twist it like so. So it's gonna look like a loop like that. So now it's twisted, grab the second fringe underneath it, and we're gonna put it inside the hole, and pull it out. So it's gonna look like that. And then, we're gonna twist this loop again. 
and grab the French on the bottom of it. Put it inside the hole, pull it out, and then twist that loop again and grab the French underneath it. Pull it out, twist it again. So we're just gonna repeat it over and over again until we get to the bottom. So now you can see you're creating this weird pattern on the back of your shirt. So when we reach the end of our shirt, we're gonna cut the loop and we're gonna make a knot on each side of the string so make a knot right here and make another knot right here so now we're done with our shirts um, you can leave it like this or you can move the string to the side so that's what i'm gonna do i want it i want the first um, weave to be on the side and the second weave on the middle so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna pull it on the edges it's up to you you can do whatever you want and that's about it easy and simple and it's fun it takes about less than 10 minutes so this is the shirt that I cut the back and this is how it look like I hope you enjoy this tutorial and um, it makes things fun so if you do have a boring old t-shirt that you want to decorate and design and make it more look cool in the back then yeah just grab the scissors and start cutting them on the back and that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching Cut more shirts! This is and I will never end with a story, story so inform me if I ever did. However, you should realize the things in the past that you really think when you ask me. Actually, don't ask me if your life will ever last. We never had the answer of answering the problem, but you came here just to ask me. I'll tell you it's not forever. Yeah, yeah. This is for us. When we begin, there's no fuss. When will it 